friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney and today's video is a Dollar Tree DIY for Valentine's Day. I'm showing you how I made this heart pom-pom wreath, so stay tuned. So if you've watched my recent Dollar Tree haul, I showed you the heart wreath form and I said I had million different ideas and that's the cool thing about Dollar Tree wreath forms you can literally make it into whatever you wanted now I've wanted a pom-pom wreath for so long and just Christmas is just way too hectic to try to be learning how to make pom-poms etc so I thought I would try my hand at doing it this Valentine's Day I thought this heart is super cute and then you can use this technique literally year-round you can make this whatever color you want you can make it all red you could add pinks you could literally do whatever you want so Without further ado, I'm gonna show you how I made it and to show you how I added a little Valentine's Day flair to my house. What you're gonna need to make this wreath is the yarn in the color of your choosing and then also a wreath form. If you don't want what's from the Dollar Tree, you can get these at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, all the craft stores. First step is to take a piece of yarn, about seven to nine inches, and cut that. Once you cut that, you're going to place it in your fingers. So you're gonna make a peace sign Put the piece of yarn in between your two fingers. Make sure that it's about halfway in between. Clamp your fingers down in a scissor motion. And then you're going to take the yarn that's hooked to the full spool of yarn and you're gonna wrap that around your two fingers 50 times. Once you do that, you're gonna take the yarn that is on the inside, that initial piece that you put inside your two fingers and you're gonna pull that outside piece closer to you through your fingers. So then the yarn is around the outside of that cluster. Once you do that, you're going to tie a semi-tight knot. You don't want it to be too tight because you're not gonna be able to get it off your fingers, but you want it tight enough that the whole thing doesn't unravel. So then you're gonna pull it off your fingers and this is when you're gonna tie it super tight. So tie it in a double knot so everything stays and it's gonna stay put. This is what it'll look like once you tie it. And then you're gonna take your scissors and put it directly in the center of those loops you just made and give it a cut. You're gonna do this all the way around the outside so that it starts to make the little fringes of the pom-pom. Once you do that, give it a shake. Make sure you've cut all of the loops apart. And then you're gonna really wanna just give it a haircut. It's gonna be lopsided because everything's not gonna be perfectly center. So you can go through and cut it like you want. And that's how you make a pom-pom. Now do that again, and you're gonna need 50 total. So I did 25 red, 25 white, but if you're doing the same color, you're gonna do 50 of the same color or whatever you're gonna need to divide it by. And really, it wasn't a huge deal. I cranked those out one night watching Netflix. It was not too bad. It was kind of therapeutic to do it. <laughs> and then I went ahead and laid everything out in the pattern that I was looking for on top of the wreath form, and this allowed me to know how many I needed. Once you've got your pom-poms made, you're gonna take those tails and you're going to loop it around the outermost ring of your wreath form and then you're gonna just start tying. You're gonna double knot it just like you did around the pom-pom to create it and that's gonna hook it to the wreath form so it's not gonna come off, but it's also gonna make it loose enough that when you're starting to fill areas, you can slide things around and be able to get it in the right spot. So I did a red and white pattern and I tied everything around the outside. Now what you should probably do is cut those tails while you're tying because I didn't do that and look, it's kind of a cluster. So I would suggest doing the cutting right after you tie each pom-pom on and I just tied them to the length of about how long the little fringes were. But yeah, this was kind of a needle in a haystack situation, trying to cut these at this point in the game. So I would suggest doing them earlier. Once you do the outermost ring and the innermost ring, you're going to take your remaining ones and fill in the middle ring so your wreath is nice and full and fluffy. The last thing I did was add some yarn to the top as a hanger because originally I was gonna hang it on my coat closet here in the front entryway, but I decided to change that up and put it on my mantle just because it matched the DIY Dollar Tree garland I recently made so well. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up above because that is super easy to make. 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video inspired you to try to make some pom-poms of your own. If it did, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I love seeing viewer projects and also I share them. I have a whole highlight of things that you guys have shared with me on my Instagram. That's whiskey and wit. Be sure to go over there and follow me because I share a lot of behind the scenes stuff so you can kind of see what's going on in between the videos. Also be sure to hit subscribe down below so you don't miss a future whiskey and wit video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!